Can you tell me about a client that was probably your patient that was your worst patient that had a lot of illnesses or a lot of things wrong with them and what you did and what the result was and how long yeah. the journey took? Well, I have one client um, that was actually quite recently. Um, she had a seizure um, and was very sick after that. She was hospitalized for quite some time. She was then diagnosed with epilepsy and um, given all the medication. Unfortunately, the medication had so many side effects with her, she wasn't able to perform in the way she was. She was also um, in entertainment business, so it was important for her to be you know, spontaneous and witty and things like that. And the medication just didn't let that happen. You know? So she was given other medication to kind of help with that. But then uh, because of that, she couldn't sleep. So she was given medication to help her sleep. And so this whole... That's so normal. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Everyone, yeah. So this whole concoction that she was taking basically put her in this really weird place. I know the first time I met with her, I thought this woman's crazy. You know, I, I just, she was all over the place with her thoughts, couldn't really speak clearly. And it was just like, whoa, you know, what, what's going on there? But then one time she approached me and said, you know, I need, I need help. There's just, I just cannot continue in this way. So she came to our clinic in Frankfurt, Germany. She stayed with us for two weeks. After day four, she actually gave us a little video testimonial. Um, completely different person. Yeah, within four days we got her off all of her meds. We did our diagnosis and find that she, we couldn't find epilepsy, but we found that she had Lyme disease. Uh, we treated her Lyme disease and she... With the infusions. With the infusions okay. that we do, yeah. We also do um, stem cell therapy, autologous stem cell therapy, so we use that as part of, part of the regimen. What does that entail? Autologous stem cell therapy entails, well, we take some blood and from that blood we can extract stem cells. You know, we have stem cells in our mm -hmm. blood. So we do a large blood draw, we can extract about 300,000 uh, 300, stem cells. In our lab, over the period of about eight days, we multiply those stem cells. So after about eight days, we have about four million stem cells. Mm. Yeah. And in the meantime, we are giving the patient IVs, we are fixing their immune system, giving a detox, kind of preparing them. Then after that eight day period, we give the stem cells back. How do you detox them? Detox also through our IVs. Okay. Uh, for example, also some nutritional things we'll, we'll give them. Um, some patients might have colonics as well. So there's a whole whole range of okay, things. Okay, wonderful. We can do. Yeah, 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 I know colonics is a great detox. Right. You know, juicing, yeah. greens, water, and mm -hmm. colonics. That alone. Yes. You know, yeah. That's right. And then there's just okay. a few IVs as so well. So they they just that. stay there, and you do your thing. Do my thing. Detoxing yeah. and making them healthier, and then you. Right. Yeah. Oh. So with the patient after ten days, wow. it completely turned her life around. Uh, she said, "You know, Phil, you have saved my life." And she's off all her medication, leaving it, leading a completely normal life, back in the entertainment field, just. Her career's going crazy at the moment, and she's great. She's fine. There's no, there's no follow-up. There's no home program. There's no, that's she's, wonderful. She's fixed. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's wonderful in two weeks, see. and that's it. That's right. Yeah. So, are you ever afraid that you're going to do something on someone, especially someone who possibly had epilepsy, that they might die in your office, or you might do something that's catastrophic, mm -hmm. and they're going to sue you? Or how do you deal with that stuff? Well. I wouldn't say I'm afraid. I mean, there's always a risk, and you have to have um, there's a certain amount of respect. And there's a lot of crazies there. who there's are just <laughs> so happy. That's too. true. Yes, yeah. yeah. But I do find the kind of patient that feels comfortable with us is usually not that kind of patient. Okay. Yeah. These are patients that are, are willing to take that risk. They're willing to think out of the box, take that step outside of mainstream medicine, and try something new. So that kind of reduces the risk of that. But there's always patients, of course. You know, I've had patients that have traveled to me from the US, they've come to our clinic in Germany the day after they got there, they died. You know, th these things okay, happen, yeah? yeah? And that, that is the reality of medicine. So uh, being in medicine, you can't be scared of that. But of course, I have to make sure that I'm, I'm doing good medicine. So and I can't do you watch who facts. you take? 